Okay, here's the Maxi 30 by 40. Top and bottom heat temperature control. Here are your 12 up lanyards running from the feed bin. Basically, you just throw in your roll of lanyard material and your spacer roller. Just throw them in, feed them through these bottom slots. You have bottom slots along the bottom of the bin under this Teflon roller to get it level across here. This roller, these rollers, by the way, are adjustable so you can move it up or down so that you have more space under here. And they feed through this other alignment. So this, and this has slots so you can uh, adjust it, but this aligns with the bin. And then back into a roller setup, which will roll all the uh, lanyards with your spacers in between. And these are all just loose on here so it can be spaced. Basically, you just turn your wheel, and as you turn your wheel, your material will feed. So you're just taping the material on to start, and then it'll all drag itself and roll itself in place. So that's feeding. And it's ready for transfers, which I'll set up. Okay, both transfer papers are in place. And you'll notice these registration lines line up nicely with the bottom ones, so everything's going to match. And we confirm it's straight and parallel. And this paper was really bent in the uh, tube, so the flatter the paper, the less trouble it will cause you. But let's go ahead and shuttle this in. Make sure we don't catch on anything. Yeah, catching. There we go. So the entire assembly shuttles in. Everything's in place. Activate the press. The press is pressing. Both top and bottom heat. We turn the bottom heat a little higher because of the silicon pad for padding to make sure everything's conforming. Set the pressure to about 80, 70 or 80 PSI is usually good. More than enough. I've got this set for about 45 seconds or so. And we'll see what we get for results. Here's all your rolls of material. Feeding down under the uh, Teflon feeder bar through the slots. So after this press is finished, we just roll up another 40 inches and immediately press again. Roll up 40 inches, lay out another transfer paper, and we're good to go. Let's see what we have for results. transfer and we've got and if we look at the back side the back side is the and we'll do one more so let's roll this up so we're rolling the crank roll here feeding the transfers along. There's a little tension on this roller to make sure that it doesn't give back so it keeps everything tense. But as you can see, we'll reel these across, pull up our tension, get that all out of the way and clear, and now we have another clear set of lanyards to... Okay, another test pressing. We just did some our first lanyard tests on these roll them up and you don't have to roll and waste that much material you could leave the ink right there and we have another test set of prints pressing a little faster this time last time was about 50 seconds actually this time we'll go for 40 moisture coming off.
snag from the suction, and there's your printed lanyards. Oof, a lot of steam. Those are nice because they're full, full bleed. And we flip it over, do the same. Notice how the color didn't match because I don't think I lined up the transfers properly, but as you can see, same on each side. And notice that they'll go ahead and tighten right up the moment you start rolling. And we'll go ahead and roll those in. Easier to do with two hands. About one on a camcorder. We'll leave that right there. We'll do one more test. And this time we're doing a test with two different transfers, a dark one and then a slightly faded uh, design. Line those up. Shuttle it in. Activate the press. Here's our previous design. releases pull the, off, pull the bottom one off and we've got another nice setup we've got the transfers with the backside something different ouch hot And that'll do.